In this video, I will add some water into this dry cloudy scene to make a wet image of it. Before starting working, let's take a few seconds to think about what makes wet objects different from dry ones. Do you have your answer? Let's see if you and I have the same opinion. 1. The wet one is generally darker. 2. There are more highlights in the wet wheel. 3. Some places reflect the surroundings. 4. Water drops. Here is the reason why these happen, and this is also the basic to understand and draw materials. We start to see things when there is light. When light reflected from the object goes into our eyes, we see it. Light always reflects from a surface in a symmetry way. So, when the surface is extremely smooth, the light keeps the relative direction perfectly after reflected, and we see mirror of the original. We call this specular reflection. But most of the time, Object doesn't reflect light mirrors. Instead, light reflects randomly because of roughness of the surface. We call this diffuse reflection. Specular reflection reflects things more like a mirror. Dark and light parts are just the same as the surroundings. While diffuse reflection is affected by an average of the mirror of the whole environment. So, what happens when the rough surface gets wet? Water fills the smaller surface on the surface, making it a little smoother. Generally speaking, we get blurry mirrors on wet surfaces. In an actual scene, we have different wet levels on the surface. Dry, a little wet, wet, and flooded. Different wet levels lead to different reflections. And the wet scene is just like combining these wet levels. Summing up what we just talked about, we have a basic strategy to draw wet scenes. Darker shades, lighter highlights, mirrors with different blurry levels, and water drops. One more point. The first step is to draw a blurry mirror of the street on the ground. The general shape is like this, and the highlight area is slightly larger than the mirror of the buildings. Because the mirrors are mostly blurred vertically when reflected by rough surfaces. Next is just the process how I drew the wet scene. Hope you enjoy it!